Hello everyone. Uh, today on my uh, silver video, I'm going to be talking about the Morgan Silver Dollars. Not breaking any new ground, but uh, a couple of months ago, I put up a video about some Morgan Dollars I picked up from uh, buygoldandsilver.com. Um, I was looking for a place to spend my metal money. Uh, differently than just rounds or coins or bars or what have you and uh, and they had these at uh, $28 a piece in extra fine very fine to extra fine condition um, I don't know a lot about coin grading I'm not a coin collector uh, so to speak um, I kind of try to translate my comic grading knowledge over to silver or the silver coins anyway so i grabbed a bunch from uh, buy gold and silver and i did a video on that and i have since grabbed another lot of them but also i went to a couple of coin shows and i find that coin dealers could be very nice people <clears throat> now great that they know a lot more than i do <clears throat> and so i can only assume that I'm getting a decent deal but I try to find somebody that seems nice to work with and uh, and, and and hopefully my judge of character uh, will help me not get screwed but either way I have something that has value and also they're well over a hundred years old uh, I mean short of the 1921s but um it's it's an old coin uh, you think about where these could have been where they might have been uh they could have been nowhere near what's in my mind you know you think of the old west or something like that being slapped up on a saloon for some booze or buying a horse or something like that but it could have just been some nothing coin in some nothing place in the country but it was still well over 100 years old so anyway i was looking uh, originally I, I i was looking for a place to put them and i grabbed these uh <clears throat> and everybody knows these anybody's seen a coin anything like that these uh cardboard containers you staple them you write on them Um, but these are my leftovers because when you're doing buy, the buy gold and silver thing, they give you just, you know, random years in a estimated condition of very fine to extra fine. So I wanted to put the ones I have in a better looking display. And the last show I was at, and I asked the, uh, the dealer, take a look at his Morgan's. And he pulled out this album and he opened it up and, and it had all the, it had all the different years and all the different mint marks on it as well, depending on where they're minted, being S being San Francisco, um, O being New Orleans, CC being Carson Cities. Those are very rare. I don't have a Carson City yet. And the regular ones that have no mint mark are minted in Philadelphia. But the, also the nice thing about the album is, it gives you the story of the Morgan dollars on one end and on the other end it gives you the estimated print runs and so it's it's right there to reference if you need it so and again this is not breaking any new ground it's just when I saw these I thought that was just the perfect way to uh, this particular dance co uh, album was the perfect way to display them and I and for the life of me, I couldn't figure out. I opened it up and I'm like, how do I get the coins? Because it's got plastic in here. And I couldn't figure out how to get the, the damn coins in there. And I had to go back on YouTube and find a video. What happens is you use your thumb to slide the plastic out. There's actually two sheets of plastic in here. One for the front, one for the back. So when you slide the plastic out, it comes out from 
in front of the coin and you can now access the coin sorry you get the picture you can pop the coin out or in my case you can pop the coin in and then when you push the the plastic back make sure it just goes in the front and so you have something in the front and something in the back and the coins not going anywhere so and to be able to sort them by mint mark not that I'm gonna get every single one I just thought it was a, a good idea and I'm sure many people think it's a good idea I think it's better looking than just to have the uh, the paper envelopes um, and it gives you an idea of what you really need I mean I'm sure everyone's got a checklist just like in comics but you can open them up, I can look at them, and if I get a better sample than any of these, I can just pop it out, throw this one in a cardboard and put it in the box, and then put the best one I have in the album. Um, so, just showing what I have. Nothing, like I said, no, these are all the low end, the commons. Uh, the only one I have that's not common is in the next album. But also there's there's toning involved, whereas this one has, it's not just dark from being circulated, and all these are, are circulated coins, but they have toning depending on, depending on uh, the environmental factors they've been in. And when you, you rotate them in the light, they'll, they'll show different shades and colors. Some people don't like that. Some people like it more. From what I've learned, it's a total personal preference. Uh, toning can actually increase the value, or false toning can greatly decrease the value. Um, but everything I have, I'm not looking for uh, uncirculated or perfect condition. This is the, the only rare one I have. It's in much less condition than most of the other ones. This one I got from the dealer. Uh, it's an 1894 New Orleans. And 1894 is a, uh, along with the 1893s, are a lesser print run. So 1894-0 had 1.7 million, whereas there many have 7.9 million and uh, 9.9 million. You can see all these. So uh, 1. 1.7 million. Uh, is a somewhat lower print run and so I have it's the only rare one I have um, but anyway you can see like this one this one here has has toning to it if I if it'll it'll change colors in the light toning can and and it's I guess it's tough to know unless you get these things graded which I will never do um, what is artificial toning by means of chemicals so I just got to hope that uh, I don't have artificially toned coins, uh, or cleaned coins for that matter. It's when they take, uh, I don't believe it's chemical methods, but they take uh, certain uh, fabrics, and, and maybe there might be a, a slight chemical additive to it, and rub them down and try to get most of the dirt off. Uh, that's cleaning, and it's like restoration, which lowers the value of the coin, even though it may... Uh, look a little better to the eye in the long run it lessens the value of the coin so anyway um, I hadn't put up a silver video I wanted to kind of get this out there uh, the dance go Morgan dollars album uh, and the uh, the Morgan dollars I've begun to to try to accumulate in one way or the other and see how that goes uh, I don't think I'll be spending two or three hundred dollars on any of the rare ones but I'll try to get as many as I can and uh, and uh, hopefully I'll do another video so I appreciate you watching. I uh, hope you come back for more and have a good day.